This is the nature habitat for the Raja Brooks birdwing butterflies. Female of this butterflies often hang around here to search for their host plants, which is the Aristolochia foveolata. According to the Malaysia Red List Plant of Peninsular Malaysia, 2021, Aristolochia foveolata are listed as endangered with the risk of extinction. These endangered rare plants only grown in the mountain forest of 900 meters above sea level, and they are the only host plant that the caterpillars of Raja Brooks birdwing butterfly feed on. Unfortunately, many of these habitats had been destroyed for development and farming. Because of this, many of the endangered host plant had been destroyed as well. Can you imagine what will happen to our beautiful, protected birdwing butterflies without these plants in the future? These precious birdwing butterflies definitely will go extinct without their host plant too. It's sad but true. Only very few of them survived and many die from land clearing activities. For the love of these beautiful creature, I started to do a lot of studies and research on the Raja Brooks birdwing butterflies, trying to understand their life cycle and habitat. Luckily, with the help from local and overseas butterfly experts, I managed to propagate this difficult to grow plant. Hopefully one day we can plant them back to their natural habitat. Meanwhile, I also trying my best to collect seed pods from the wild for conservation purposes. Not only that, I managed to hand pair these birdwing butterfly. This skills can be used to help prevent inbreeding issue if we are doing captive breeding for conservation in the future. Egg collecting techniques are also crucial as birdwing butterflies' eggs are difficult to obtain in captivity without a large flying enclosure. As for caterpillars, captive breeding help keeping them away from parasites and predators so that their successful rate of making to adult butterfly is much higher. After all the hard work and effort, I will then release these captive breed birdwing butterflies back to their nature habitat. Hopefully, they will continue offspring from generation to generation. Remember, actions speak louder than words. To me, I personally think that there is no point in listing these plants and butterflies as protected and endangered species without taking actions to conserve them. I'm trying my best to conserve and increase the population of these beautiful creature without any form of support or funding from any organization. So please. Subscribe to my channel, like and share this video to show your support to my hard work, dedication, and help keeping me motivated to continue making more life cycle videos in the future.